Customs like these that we just built are something so many people ask whether or not they should try to build on their own. Now to answer this, there's really only two questions you need to ask yourself. First is do you have the patience to learn every single detail inside a complex mechanical system and then also adapt when parts inevitably fail and don't fit? Second is why do you want a custom? Is it to tinker and build something with your own hands or is it to get something awesome and flawless right out of the box? Now while I fully believe that you should always try tinkering with the airsoft guns at some point, it's not for everyone, especially when there's a lot of money on the line.